Hi, I'm Dale Kislik, and this video is all about these really cool Roycroft ski shoes and why, in many cases, they're better than just about any snowshoe out there, especially in deep snow. Here we are at the Karamat course, 2018 winter course. And we have uh, 15 students, a uh, handful of instructors. We built a Morris Kohansky igloo, which is in the camera screen right now. Next to that, snow trench shelter number one, snow trench shelter number two, and moving along to our Quincy. And we have a good depth of snow to do a little bit of a snowshoe video here. And coming into view now, we have a series of snowshoes. So I'm going to zoom in, and we're going to go from small to big. And as I zoom in, we're starting with your modern snowshoes right there, 30-inch snowshoes. Uh, we have three sets of moderns. Then we have something a little bit bigger, 12 by about 36, or I think 12 by 36 military magnesium snowshoes. Then we get into the Ojibwe snowshoes with the pointed tips. Uh, those ones are 12 by... What's the size of those, Rob? 12 by what? 12 by 60. 12 by 60. Then we get into Lure of the North do-it-yourself kit. And those are 16 by 48, Huron style. And then we have a Karamat Special, the Roycraft ski shoe right there. Handmade emergency ski shoe. Uh, quickly made and right after that a pair of bear paws. So we're going to just show the depth of uh, uh, the flotation and how much we sink as we uh, walk these. Everybody go ahead put on your snowshoes. <laughs> Alright so we'll give them a second we're going to get them all in and they're going to walk towards us and we'll see the different depths that we sink. And right at the beginning here in the red jacket we have Mr. John MacArthur and he's gonna walk with no snowshoes and so now you can see how deep we are there we go that's the depth that we're looking at nice so he's thigh deep in the snow and the other fellows are getting ready we'll have everybody just line up there nice Yeah, <laughs> John's going to come over and do some filming as well. Awesome. All right, Cedric, let's get a start on our modern snowshoes. That's not so bad. Come on ahead next, Peter. So you can see how he's sinking there. And then just cross in front, Cedric, and head over. So this is on the large size of modern snowshoes. Many of them are actually smaller. And then following his trail. And then another set of moderns here. 30 inch MSRs. That's it, Lars. So still sinking a fair bit. And we got uh, Marta coming. Okay, Marta. Military backbreaker. Military magnesium snowshoes. <laughs> Not a bad size snowshoe, and you can see she's perched up quite a bit higher. Quite a bit higher. Very nice. Good Marta. flotation. She now she doesn't weigh uh, as much as some of the people here. Don't fall. Oh, did you guys see what you had for breakfast? So good. good. Awesome. Yeah, and then now we got Rob. Now Rob's a little bit more on the heavy side. <laughs> but he's in the Ojibwe's, uh, the uh, 12 by 60s. And that's doing pretty good. Love those snowshoes. Nice. Not too bad. Yeah, looking real good there. Awesome. And then... We have Mateus, and he's uh, in the largest of the, the Huron style here that are um, 
uh, 16 by 48s. Pretty good. He's up pretty high on the top there. Then we switch over to our Roycroft special here, Roycroft emergency ski shoes that are handmade uh, and awesome. Look at that. He's maybe sinking. His ankles are still above the snow. And he's got a Roycroft sled that he's pulling right behind it. Testimony to the Roycroft snowshoe and how awesome it is as far as surface area. So somebody who's skilled and knowledgeable can make up a pair of Roycroft snowshoes in one or two hours. And look at the flotation that we had right there. Now I'll walk out with those snowshoes. Awesome. Thank you everybody. So it comes down to surface area. We know that. Flotation. Surface area equals better flotation. So Kelly's got the uh, Roycroft snowshoes there with an Indian hitch. Lampwick bindings. Very nice. So remember that's thigh deep snow that he's walking on right now and he's right up on the top. Testimony to uh, how incredible those ski shoes really are and why everybody should come to Karamat and uh, come and meet us, have a cup of bush tea with us and take in our course so you can make them too, a winter Karamat course. So these Roycraft emergency ski shoes has been handed down to uh, us survival instructors uh, by master woodsman Morris Kohansky. Morris learned how to build these when he was mentoring under a survival instructor named Thomas Roycraft. And that's why they're called the Roycraft Emergency Ski Shoes. So let's talk about some of the pros and cons of the Roycraft Ski Shoe. Uh, probably the biggest benefit or the biggest pro as far as the Roycraft ski shoe goes is that they're fairly quickly made with local materials. All you need is a forest of some sort and chances are good that with a little bit of searching you can come up with the right materials. Help! Help! <laughs> with these another pro is that if you break them you can always make a new pair. You can make them any size you like. You can make them small. You can customize your ski shoes to fit your body size. When you're done with your ski shoes, you can choose to hang them on your wall, put them in your garage, or I suppose if you really wanted to, you could burn them or make other projects out of them too. You can lay these two things down across a couple of logs and you've got a place to sit down, like a bench, or also have a place to put some boughs or mattress or, or soft bedding material on top of and then you have a very quick bed so your, your ski shoes are then serving two purposes. Another uh, pro or benefit to these is that they're freaking cool. <laughs> they're really cool. You can amaze your friends with them. Just by showing them usually the, the response I get when I show these to people is like, whoa, those are cool. <laughs> Strategy number one. This is a, a Morris tie. This comes out of one of his uh, handles. I'm gonna come under the sides here. <clears throat> so the issue with this whole snowshoeing thing, and I wanna be really clear about this, is that it's a bit of a personal thing, your binding, and it varies on your boot style, whether you're wearing a muckluck or a hard boot or a soft boot. So this one lends itself better to having a, a piece ahead of the toe piece. This is probably one of the most secure bindings for sure, but it's also one of the hardest to uh, to set up. Sir Edmund Hillary, as he's about ready to climb Mount Everest, without oxygen, heading up in his traditional gear. Nice.
We'll edit that out. Where they really excel is in open, deep snow areas. There's just nothing that compares to how great the flotation is and how easy your mode of travel becomes when using these on deep snow. How are the shorties? They're awesome. Are they pretty awesome? They're good. Yeah, very happy. Still very happy. Right there, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it's just hard to get off your phone. You're at the same level when you step off. It's like, yeah, it's off.